There. Haha! <laughs> Fixed it. Alright, sorry about that. I forgot to unmute my microphone. Alright. Let's get right back into it. How did you get in here? We just came in through the door behind us. There's no door behind you. Yes, there is. I think the tall creatures must have hit their heads on the storm. They're talking crazy. I don't know how they got here, but maybe we should help them. I see you might be lost. Or, I see you must be lost. I've never seen you around more Zora's forest before. Yes, this is our first time here. Oh, so you're tourists. Uh, I guess you could call us that. But we know all about this place. We read about it in our book. A book? About us? Yeah, I learned about the forest and the paradise world across the sea. You mean raccoon? Yeah. That's wonderful. Is there anything you'd like them to do while you're here? Well, I've always wanted to meet the great forest garden. Blech. I've always wanted to meet the, the great forest guardian Morazora. Morzora. He lives in a cave just northwest of this village. But I hear he's been sleeping for a long time, and it's not easy to wake him up. Anyways, this is the Liebel Village Inn. Feel free to make yourselves at home. And let us know if you need anything. What interesting looking creatures. Did you notice when they turned around? They didn't have any tails. Hush, it's not nice to talk about others behind their backs. Or about their backs. <laughs> hey! Sorry. I meant no harm. Just never seen anything like it is all. Alright, now we can move around. So, um... What's it like not having a tail? Do you fall over a lot? Hey! Oops, sorry. I mean, how are you? Welcome to the Lebel Inn. Would you like to sleep here? Sleep. You awake, fully rested. Save your game? Yes. If you're looking for more Zora, he lives in the big cave northwest of the village. Okay. Big cave northwest of the village. Well, well, what do we have here? A couple of fresh faces in Morzor's forest. Um, what are you? What am I? I'm a Lebel, of course. What are you? Um, a human, of course. Human? Is that anything like a horse? Well, all creatures are welcome here in Lebel Village, so feel free to make yourselves at home. the bear keeps destroying our gardens. He's only got two moods, grumpy and angry. I 
I got the bug. The travel bug. I can't sit still. I'm so restless. I want to travel the world. I know it's a long shot, but I heard Winston used to build boats before he came here. Maybe he'll decide to build them again. Who's Winston? Winston's a carpenter legal who lives out by the river. He's a nice guy, but he mainly keeps to himself. He's been caring for his sick wife ever since he came to the forest. We don't really know what happened to her. Huh. Okay. Uh, we got some berries. I don't think we have the right tools to remove this bamboo. Okay. Tony came through here the other day and almost crushed all my crops. The bear has such a bad attitude. Star Knight is just around the corner. When I go this time, I'm going to catch myself a pet fish and eat sweets. Okay. Z, 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 Z. Leapy. Um. Ooh, more berries. Who is taking my berries? So you took my berries, did you? No matter. They'll all end up in my belly one way or another. Okay. By orders of the legal chief, no one is allowed beyond this point until further notice. Hmm. We can probably just move this sign. It doesn't look too heavy. Excuse me? No one moves me. I'm here for your protection, you know. There are angry spirits beyond here. You think I'm standing around for my health? Oh, I, uh, didn't know. I'm really sorry. Apology accepted. Now get out of here before I change my mind. Ooh, chewing by a sign. Chef Panky's kitchen assistant. It's a great job, but he works us to the bone. We just snuck out here for a quick break. Please don't tell him. Hey, you guys are new. Are you visitors, or are you going to live in the forest with us? Treasure chest. You found ten gold. seen someone eat cabbage. It's cabbage, okay? Cabbage. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt your cabbage eating. Morazora's forest has lots of different kinds of spirits wandering around. Some of them are nice, but you still have to watch out for the angry ones. Can we do anything over here? We share this forest with the Envoy. Winston told me that you can tell when Envoy spirits pass through because it gets really cold.
The storm knocked over all of our emerald beanstalks. That means travel between here and the Skylands is on hold until we can grow some new ones. Half the village lives on those being big islands up there in the sky. You should check it out sometime. Well, once this sapling grows up. If only there were a way to speed up the process. Like, what if there were another world, an alternate universe if you will, where altering things there would alter things here, but in completely unpredictable ways. Dot, dot, dot. I have a lot of time to think, okay? Dot, dot, dot. Hey kid, wait up! Uma! I hope you know, those caves you're about to go into are a tad confusing. If you're not careful, you could end up getting lost. You'd better take this. You receive more Zora's caveman. Good luck kid! Thank you, Uma. Whoa, are you really going in there? That place is weird. Okay, any weirder than here? Um, wait! What are you two doing in here? I'm sorry, is this area off limits? We were just looking for more Zora. Did we get the wrong cave? No, this is more Zora's cave. But, you know, it isn't safe right now. Don't you? The envoy are here. The envoy? You know, spirits that are between this realm and another. Most of them are harmless. They're just hanging around or passing through. But lately, many of them have become corrupted with bad energy. They're so blinded by things like fear and hatred that they aren't themselves anymore. I was in here collecting supplies last week and a bunch of them stole my tools. I haven't been able to work at all since then. I'm so sorry to hear that. Eh, at least I made it out alive. What What if we're really just... Bleh. What if we're just really careful? Are you crazy? Didn't you hear what I just said? Yeah, but I really need to talk to more Zora. Plus, we're a lot bigger than you are. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I was so caught up in thought, I didn't even realize you were like 10 feet tall! We're not 10 feet tall. Close enough. What the heck are you, anyway? We're humans. Interesting. Okay, well best of luck to you. One problem though. I know you're trying to reach more Zora, but as you can see, the entrance to his grove has been blocked off by overgrown bamboo. I can cut that down if you get my tools back. The spirits put them in that box over there. Everything I need to do my job is in that box. Including my axe. We'll do whatever it takes to help. You can start by draining this lake. There are two switches in this cave. 
that control the flow of water. Bind them both and we're good to go. Pretty straightforward, right? I guess. That's the spirit. Er, no pun intended. I'll wait here for your return. Good luck! Alright, so... What's this? Excuse me, do you mind moving so that we can get through here? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm too tired to move. Too tired. Aw, why are you so tired? Well, usually I love swimming through the dirt. I go on random errands for the tree I belong to. But my tree is malnourished, which means I'm malnourished too. So unfortunately, I can't move right now. Maybe if my tree gets what it needs, I'll be able to move again. But until then, I'm too tired. Okay. What's this? Eastern water flow switch. Entrance above. Hmm. If only the purple creature weren't blocking the entrance. Purple? What's blue? If Big Brother forgets to eat, he gets so tired that he just sits around waiting for someone else to feed him. Hmm. What's the matter? I'm so hungry. So hungry that I can't move. Poor thing. I'm sure we have some extra food that we could give you. No. I can't eat horse food. Horse food? I need Scylla apples only. From Scylla Cave Tree. So we gotta find some Scylla apples from the Scylla apple cave tree. So what's this? Scylla caves up. Do you think I'm beautiful? I heard that if you have happy feet, you become more beautiful. Is this true? Hmm. I don't think I've ever heard that saying before. Oh! It must be a tray thing then. I think you have very beautiful green leaves. Thank you. You see, I have three feet. They're probably popping up around here somewhere. But they are so sad right now. How can I be beautiful if my feet are so sad? One is hungry for dirt, one is thirsty for water, and one really needs some sunlight. Can you please help them? Okay. real quick. Why, yes, we do have an extra bottle of water here. Would you like it? Oh, that's kind of you. But when I say water, I mean like a lot of water. 
like a pawn's worth. I drink a lot. Hmm, I don't think we could carry that much water. I understand. If you happen to come across any, though, we'll let you know. I should bird. The door is locked. Treasure chest? It's locked. Okay, give me a second here. I gotta map this out. Okay. So across the top, we have... Seven, three, six. Seven, three, six. Okay.
five, four, one, and three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight? There we go. Wow, good eye. We found the blue stone key. The blue stone key is this one. This is great! I can feel the water flowing up through the ground and into my toes! Did you guys do this? All we did was pull a switch. You gave me water! Water! I can finally be me again! Thank you so much! Oh cool! He's grown a little bit. You already helped one of my feet. Thank you! There are just two more that need something now. Okay. Have you lost something that was really important to you? I was supposed to meet my friend, but I can't remember where we were going to meet. I have to find her before it's too late. I have to. <clears throat> huh. Okay. I have this really catchy song stuck in my head. It's by this budding any rep... This budding indie rap artist named Lil Buds. He's a sky bud, so he looks like me, but he lives in the sky. <clears throat> it's so good. What's the song about? Oh, it's so deep. It's about having to work every day serving tea to rich buds. Having a high-strung boss who wears powdered white wigs. Wanting to make it as a hip-hop artist. It really speaks to me. It's so good. What are you? Oh, I'm a cave bud. Not quite fully grown yet, but I'm getting there. It's so good. See ya. I am a glow shroom. I'm supposed to glow big and bright. But lately, I've been having trouble holding my charges. It's probably all that stress from work. I just gotta take it easy and make sure to exercise. You know how it is. Have you ever had a best friend? My best friend and I would go everywhere together. We had the best adventures. Both of us were kinda poor. It was sad because sometimes she didn't even have any food. 
but I always shared my lunch with her because that's what best friends do. And I can't get in there because I don't have an axe. Mom? What are those? Hmm, I'm not sure, dear. I wonder if they're the envoy that Jackie talked about. Mom? Stay close to me, dear. It's alright, dear. I think they're gone now. Well, why did they go away? What did, why did, what did you do? Nothing there. Mom? There's so many of them. I'm kind of scared. It's okay, sweetie. Hold my hand and stay close to me. I'll lead us through here. Just a little bit further. You can do it, sweetie. Mom, we made it. I knew you could do it. The dark makes me sad. We found ten gold. Cool. Oh. oh, what's this? Shimiji? Shimiji? Shimji? Shimiji. Shem Shemji. Your name is Shemji. I don't know what that book is talking about. The dark is great. It's so dark in here. I don't like the dark one bit. Neither do I. Mom says there's nothing to be afraid of, but I still don't like it. Finally, someone who understands me. These mushrooms don't get it at all. They're like, sunlight, who needs that? Only crazy feet like sun. Well, call me crazy, but I do like the sun. Unfortunately, I took a wrong turn and wound up in the very darkest part of this cave. Can you help me get some sun? Alright. Yeah! Break that floor! Um... Okay. Hey, kid! Did you come to listen to our guild practice? Guild practice? Oh, you haven't heard of us? We meet here every week to jam. We call ourselves... No Holds Barred! Oh my god, that hurt. Ow. Oh, food. Boo! Boo! With exactly three exclamation points at the end. Heck yeah! Get it? Because we don't hold back. We don't follow the rules. We spell it B-A-R-D, not B-A-R-R-E-D. Because we're literally bards. Dot, dot, dot. It's a play on words. That's clever. Wait. Why is it at? It's off. Ah, oh. oh, that's clever. Lady, I like your style. Dot, dot, dot. So, like down here, we can be ourselves. Take Craig, for example. Yo. Out in the real world, he's got to wear a suit and a tie and work for the man. But down here, he shreds on the electric loop. Wah! 
And then there's Lil Buzz. Sup, homies. He spends his days serving tea at a bunch of snobby buds in the sky. I'm all like, more sugar, sir? Can I offer you a scone? Only suckers eat scones. Whoa there, buds. Sorry, sometimes I just get, gotta let it out. We all do, little buds, we all do. Channel it into the music. I hear you, flower. So, like I was saying, down here, we can be ourselves and just jam. So if you need a space to just chill out, feel free to kick it with us. No holds barred. I'm so happy! Blah! How can you stand all this light? Light makes me grow! Doesn't it make you grow? No! Of course not! If not light, then what do you eat? Dead plants, of course. Ah! Okay, so that's the other, another foot. Can go here. Hi, Average Girl Gamer. Uh, what did you think when you first played this game? Um, I kind of didn't know what to expect. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, and I still have not played all the way through it. Um, I just decided to go ahead and play back through the first part uh, again. Well, just because. But I like it. I really enjoy it. You already helped two of my feet. Thank you. There's just one more that needs something now. I really like the music. I really like the, the... I mean, yeah, it's an RPG Maker game, but it is well made and has an interesting story. All right, so we were able to get through to the next area. So let's go ahead and pick it up. Western Water Flow Search, entrance, entrance above. Are you trying to get to the Western Water Flow Switch? Oh, yes, we are. Well, you're gonna have to find a way to move those rocks first. Do you have a pet pig by chance? A pet pig? Uh, <laughs> no goodness, no. That's too bad. Pigs love rocks. A pig would clear those rocks out in five seconds flat.
Interesting. Thank you for the information. are weird. Why are they weird? Well, one time I saw a mushroom jump from rock to rock to get to the other side, and as he jumped, the rocks turned blue. What's up with that? Weird, right? Watch your step, friend. Let's go this way. Since we already have the blue key. Bigger golems are always roughhousing. I'm not ready for that yet, so I'll just hang out with the cats. Okie dokie. Wah, wah, wah. You come to feed me rocks or truffles? Dot, dot, dot. Question mark? No, then I stay here. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. You're much bigger than any other onion I've seen. Your face is gonna be an onion if you don't stay out of my way. so empty it aches. How I long for that nectar of the forest, that life-giving ambrosia, that which pleaseth my stomach, delicious, delectable, divine dirt. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Oop. I found redstone key. Wait. Now I just have to remember where, where to find the redstone. Shroom? Oh no. I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to. Hmm. Come over here, little dude. Am I in trouble? Nah, we're cool. I can tell you're a good little dude. I'm King Spore, and these are my totally radical Shimiji guards. Together, we make up the Rad Shroom Pres Preservation Society, or RPS for short. <clears throat> All around Morazora's cave, there's a great battle going on. A war between good and evil. A struggle between rad and bad. This place is a literal war zone. Dot 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 exclamation point exclamation point. Yes, yes. You should be, you should be surprised. Shocked. Surprised. For ages, the Rad Shrooms and the Bad Shrooms have been at war. Rad Shrooms, like the poor little dudes you just stepped on. Sorry. They fill the air with righteous spores that make you peaceful, kind, and full of rad. Rad shroom spores in the air mean we all get along better. Bad shrooms, on the other hand. No! Bad shrooms are totally uncool. When you breathe in their spores, you become rude. Gnarly. Stuck up! So, little dude, whilst on your totally righteous journey, the RPS says that you help stomp out the bad, while totally protecting the rad. I'll try my best. Awesome. Hey, little dude, is that like your mom? Yes. Moms are totally cool. Dot, dot, dot. Get rid of the bamboo yet. I know this is hard to believe, but did you know that there's a pig living inside this cave? It's kind of insane. Luckily for us, they only eat rocks and truffles, not cave buds. Just between you and me, not that I'd ever wish being eaten by a pig on anyone, but if the pig had to eat someone in this cave, and I had to choose who it was. Well, I'll just be honest with you. I choose the Truffalos. Fine porcelain cup is filled with muddy water. All of these sandwiches are filled with dirt. We have the most delicious dirt in all the forest. And that's how it should be. We are the best mushrooms. 
so we should get the best dirt. Ah. If you've come here to ask for our dirt, we're not just going to give it to you if you don't give us something in return. That dreadful pig that lives down here only eats two things. Rocks and us. Ugh, so barbaric. Wow, that's helpful. Um, okay. Um, found some pig repellent. Hmm. I wonder who in this cave would want some like... would want something like pig repellent. Oh. Aye. Found ten gold. If you've come here to ask for our dirt, we're not just going to give it to you if you you don't give us something in return. Wait. Is that pig repellent you're carrying? We need that. We'll give you a bag of our best dirt if you give us that pig repellent. I'll even throw in some truffalo perfume. It's so refined. This perfume would make even a lowly cave bud smell as good as us. Uh, but stay away from pigs while you're wearing it. Otherwise, they might follow you around. Disgusting. Barbaric. Uncouth. Give the truffalo your pig repellent? Sure, why not? You traded your pig repellent for some tasty dirt and truffalo perfume. Delightful. Now that uncouth pig will finally give us some peace and quiet. Something feels different. I suddenly feel happy. Dot dot dot. Thanks for clearing the air in here. No problem. find the pig. Bonk. Bonk. Wah, wah, wah. 
Why do you smell like truffalo? I follow you. Yum! Now truffle for dessert. Truffle perfume has faded. Okay. Thank you. Now I can finally get into my home. Too bad for the truffles. Do you have any questions? What are the envoy? The envoy are between this realm and another. Most of them are harmless. Just spirits passing through. But some of them have grown overcome with bad energy. Fear, anger, hatred. It's those that you have to watch out for. Do you have any questions? What are you? I'm a cave bud. Along with the mushrooms, flowers, and many mores, we help keep the forest running. Do you have any other questions? Nope. The golems are always roughhousing. It's a major problem down here. They caused that rock slide the other day. The only good thing about them is they smell like grapes. Oh. All right. Um. I need to find the foot. Where's the foot? Give me a foot. I need a foot. There you go. Doth my rooted nose deceive me? Doth that divine fragrance step there? That divine fragrance, may it be thou carriest the tastiest and most coveted dirt in all the forest? Give the friendly foot your tasty dirt? Yes. Oh, wonder of wonders, I thank thee for thine gift. Fare thee well, my friends. Okay, cool. My feet tell me that you helped all of them. Because you gave them sun, water, and dirt, I was able to grow up into a full tree. Thank you for your help. We are all, we all feel much better now. Here, to say thank you, I want you to have one of my fruit. You received a Scylla apple. Okay, cool. That mushroom. No mushrooms in here.
No mushrooms here. No mushrooms here. Okay. I smell still apple. Give the lethargio golem a silap. Yes. Oh boy. I feel so different now. It's like I have so much more energy. Probably the brightest glow shroom in here. We're talking a thousand watts, 90 second intervals, and I can bench like five times my own weight. I also make my own dead plant shakes. They help me put on the pounds. Eastern water flow switch. That glow shroom is so annoying. It's like no one cares how many reps you can do or how many dead plant shakes you drink a day. That's one switch. Okay. And... This should be the other switch. I guess that pig finally ate the rocks blocking our door. Someone needs to tell those golems to go roughhouse somewhere else. Western water flow switch. Lake has been drained. Great job! Blacksmith's tools. Oh my. Oh my wonderful tools! You give the blacksmith back his tools. Thank you so much. Now, as promised, I'll clear you a path to more Zora's growth. There you go. Well, I'd better be getting back to my shop. Thanks for everything. Oh, one more thing. If you visit my shop, I can build you some tools of your own. It's gonna take me a little time to get everything up and running again, though. So why don't you come by once you're done talking to Morazor? Hopefully, I'll be ready by then. Good luck!
I'd recommend against going down this path for the time being. There are far too many Envoy beyond this point. It looks like we have visitors. Hmm. I do not recognize their kind at all. I don't think they're from Morazor's Forest. Hmm. Definitely not from around here. Definitely not. It's been many years since we've had visitors, visitors such as these. Tell me, young boy, what brings you to the Keeper's Grove? I want to ask Morazora if he would grant me a wish. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm sorry. But more Zora has been sleeping for a while now. Oh. Do you know when he's going to wake up? My boy, this is not an ordinary slumber. A darkness has fallen over more Zora's lands, and over him as well. A darkness? You see, we have long shared this world with the Envoy. They are spirits between this realm and the next. Typically peaceful, merely passing through. However, lately, more and more of them have become overrun with negative energy. Anger, fear, hatred. The whole forest can feel it. If Morzora sleeps and darkness subsumes his lands, we are all in danger. This is terrible. We have to do something. Dot, dot, dot. Let me try to wake him up for you. <laughs> My boy, Morzora can cannot be woken, awoken by just any means. When darkness has caused him to fall into slumber, the only thing that can awaken him is a very special song. A song that we call Mori no Kokoro. Can you teach it to me? No, my child, I cannot. But that's not to say that you can't learn it. When you can hear things that are too quiet for the ears, the fear and longing, the hopes and dreams of those around you, then you can wake him. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. Look around us. Do you see the stones with different markings? Yes. Each one represents a voice that is calling out for your help right now. A man whose connection with his wife has been severed. A woman who prepares to lose that which is the most dear to her. Seek them out, along with the rest who call out to you. If you help them, they will teach you what you seek to learn. See that one over there? Yes? Shh. Listen. My wife's been asleep for months now. Something tells me that's a good place to start. Good luck, young one. Return to us if you need any help. Okay.
All right. We are going to save the game. Hi, Lady Mist. How are you doing today? Welcome in. Good, how are you? I've been lurking for a bit while I was working. Uh, no problem. Feel free to lurk all you want. I'm doing well. Just, uh... Figured I would take some time and play some Rakuin. How was work? Good! Um, obviously not working today and I do not work tomorrow. So... And I have the weekend, so I'm going to be enjoying the four days that I don't have to work. Where am I going? I got sidetracked talking and just started pushing buttons. Um, okay, so... Thank you. Yes, it is Thanksgiving here. Uh, I am not doing anything for Thanksgiving, about just because of the coronavirus and everything like that. We're just taking it easy. We're just gonna relax and you know, hang out at home. Let's. Um, I think that was Jackie reminding me that I need to go get my axe. Oh, hey, you guys. Thanks again for helping me get my tools back. My shop isn't fully functional yet, but if you bring me the right materials, I can make you an axe of your own. I'll need five camphor sticks and three pieces of nightstone. I'm sure you can find those things in the area just southeast of the village. Uh, nice. That's what I did made of roast dinner and invited my foster daughter's parents and they didn't even come. Well, you know, I am not going to fault them for doing that. You know, I'm of the opinion with everything going on the way it is this year just to kind of, you know, keep it low-key. You know, my parents are doing stuff and I just was like, nah, I'm just going to stay home. I had a busy week anyway with, with going back to work after being sick, so I was just like, I'm just gonna take stay home, rest, relax, play some Rakuin, stream a bit. Just not gonna go crazy this year. Okay, so I need to find camphor sticks and stone. Which supposedly is south of here. Oh, it's gonna be over here. to back again you don't have to worry about us anymore and why is that we just went through more Zora's cave we even got the blacksmith's tools back for him after they were stolen by angry spirits oh really well why didn't you say so I guess you two can handle yourselves after all you're free to pass but be careful I don't think I can get the fireplace. You'll need something to carry this in before you can catch it. Okay. Get some berries. Ooh, an onion. Have you ever heard the stereotype that onions smell bad? Well, let me tell you. 
It's not true. Sure, I might have a few cousins who only shower once a month and their trash cans are overflowing with fast food wrappers. But they're the exception. For the most part, we smell rather nice. We like onions. like the smell of freshly chopped onions and garlic. Me too. I really enjoy it. Two of my favorite things to cook with. What do you want? Uh, fine. I'll talk to you anyway. Uh, sticks. Oh, can't go that way. Uh, what's the bird thing doing? Mini Mori 16. I'm a mini Mori. There are many of us, and we all have a number attached to our name. Do you know what the numbers stand for? It's the order in which we came into this world. Oh. Cool. south of here for their Star Night Festival. They get crazy. But you know what's really crazy? Being a slave to your possessions. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's overwhelming. That's why I decided to get rid of all my stuff. Except for my garden. I love my garden. It brings me joy. So if you're thinking it feels bad taking what's in that guy's box, he's just standing right there. Don't feel bad. I don't even need it anymore. You know, it's tough at first letting go of your possessions. But once you do, it's sweet, sweet freedom. Yeah, me too. I... I still need to empty out my storage unit. Sorry, the festival grounds are closed up until we get everything set up. Okay. Sticks. And I think that means that I've got everything for my axe. guys really go through Morazor's cave? I'm scared of the envoy. I don't dare go into their territory. I love those emotes. See you found the materials for your axe. One moment, please. I hope you enjoy your new axe. Receive an axe. It works great on bamboo and other types of wood. In fact, why don't you go test it out on that door up there? Chop it down. Feel free to take what you find inside. 
Why do you have a boarded up door in your hut? Why not? Dot, dot, dot. We found a cat's eye marble. watch the story progress. All right, average girl gamer, have fun. And guys, why don't if you get a chance, check out average girl gamer. She is also going through and playing Raccoon. Or at least the last time I was uh, watching she was. So feel free to give her a follow, check her out when she's on. my friend gone I can't sleep until I find her the only one who would listen to me. She was such a good listener. I could tell her all my secrets because I knew she'd never tell anyone else. And she loved me no matter what, even though I was poor and didn't have cool toys or games. Even though I didn't have any other friends, she still loved me. What kind of stuff? Oh, we had so many adventures together. We played a lot of games, too. Ones I didn't get to play before. My dad promised he would play catch with me, but he left and we never got to do that together. But my friend loved playing catch. So we'd go to the park and play catch until the sun went down. Alright, see ya. some areas blocked off in here. Why don't we go through here? Yeah, no. Thank you.
frog. Hi, frog. He found a Glen the frog. I caught a frog! Maybe we could take it back to the hospital? I bet it would make a great pet for the people on my floor. Okay. I apparently never went in there before. I do not remember ever getting Glenn the Frog. 